All right, hello everyone. Today we'll be going over a or doing a little review of a mod called Another Furniture Add On. Um, and <laughs> it's kind of funny because as I was kind of recording this, I was like, why is it called that? That's because there's so many furniture add ons on Bedrock. Um, apparently everyone just wants to do furniture add ons, and we'll see that because I've got a few others. So I'm obviously going to go through this book for you guys. Um, I, I, I accidentally broke it. Um, but I'm going to go through this book to, to basically show you the, the recipes for everything. But I'm also going to show you all of the different blocks. Um, specifically, I'm going to only really show you one colour of blocks. So you can actually see the, the different types of blocks. Uh, like furniture. Um, but you can customise it to be any colour. And you can also use a hammer, I believe it was, to change the look, the look of the uh, types of blocks as well. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys look at all these different recipes. I love when the mods actually give you uh, like a recipe book. Because it makes it really easy to make these videos that you guys can just see all the recipes. And know how to craft everything without me having to like, you know, give like a link on how to like actually do it. Um, it's all in the game and I like how it is very survival friendly as well where you actually are allowed to craft this stuff and it's not just purely for creative. But uh, yeah we got a few different items here I'm only going to be showing the cherry wood um, set of items as there's literally a carbon copy for all the other wood types as well and there's a lot of items in this. <laughs> so for it being free which by the way yes it is free this mod it's a pretty good mod, to be honest. All this stuff works really well. I didn't really have any issues. And at least in this one, you can actually destroy this stuff after you finish with it, which is a massive problem with a lot of other mod, uh, mods. That you can't actually destroy this stuff. Um, so we have some lamps. We have some, um, some blinds as well, some chairs, things like that. And you can just see all of the different types of colours and everything for everything. This will take hours for me to set up <laughs> um, if I place every single one down. But you can obviously tell what they look like and I made sure to check as well. It is literally just the exact same stuff, just obviously the different colours and the different types of wood as well. But here we go, we have more cherry uh, related stuff and more light blue uh, coloured stuff as well. Um, so we're going to have a stool an awning, a lamp, uh, another lamp as well, um, which goes on the wall, and a stool as well. We also have a bench for the cherry one, which is pretty cool. I actually bring it to put next to this one, and um, put three of them next to it, but then obviously... So you can do stuff like that, where you can put mobile next to each other, and it looks like an actual full-on bench. Um, but uh, I obviously just want to show the block look. Um, we also have some uh, flower pots. Some of them go on the walls, like the shelf and the flower pot right there, um, which is, does look pretty cool. But I'm just trying to put all the blocks down right now. And then we also have um, some more shelves and a table as well for the cherry. We also have some other items over here, like a bin and a service bell. And they are very self explanatory. They're also described in the book. Um, the, bit, the bin, I didn't actually show this off, but the bin basically. Um, you just click it and it just destroys the item that you're holding and the service bell just dings, that's all it does. Okay, so now I actually have the hammer right now. So I'm going to show you right now what this hammer does. So if you basically go up to a block and then like interact with it, it changes the look of it, which I think is really cool. There's so many different designs for um, all this stuff. Um, obviously, if you interact with that, it opens up the inventory to put blocks inside, so it's like a container. This um, chair, you can take the back off as well. Um, the flower pot as well. It doesn't look like there's actually any, any interactables. But this one, you can take the back off this as well. For the shelves. This one, you can change so there's either two or one of them. And the table, doesn't look like there's any interacting with that one. Uh, for the chair, no interacting. This one, it just puts it a bit more down. This one actually turns the light on or off. Which obviously if we go to night time you can see that that's actually what it does. Same with the big one. Um, we also have a little uh, table as well. None of this actually is interactable. But you can obviously sit on them though. Um, but the hammer doesn't actually do anything to change the design. These little lamps as well. Also turn on as well. This little stool um, thing. I don't know what it is. This The hammer does make it go a little bit smaller. Um, so if you do like that design better then obviously do that. But all these chairs are all interactable. You can sit on them all. Um, 
I don't think there's any interactables with the uh, grandfather clock. I don't think there's anything happening with that. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool mod, honestly, overall. And um, for, for being free, it's actually really good, I'd say. Obviously, you can put uh, flowers in these pots as well, which I was uh, testing out as well. It's a really good mod. You can really customise quite a lot of it. And they have, obviously, the different designs for every wood type and every colour. So you can really customise a lot of your builds with this in mind. So of all the mods we've actually looked at so far, this is probably like one of my top ones because it's free, obviously, but also it has so much potential to be customising a lot of builds. So yeah, I would highly suggest that you guys pick this one up and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.